Hello everyone, my name is Kaden McLaren and I am a gender fluid performing artist and aspiring director for film and television. And I think the thing I'm the most proudest of for the LGBTQ community is the fact that I am who I am and everyone around me just loves me and accepts me and supports me for that. And like, what more could you ask for from a group of people than to just love and accept you for who you truly are? And that's the LGBTQ community. I love you guys. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm so grateful to be part of this community because it's all about love and acceptance. It's such an honor to be able to share such an incredible space with all of you extraordinary human beings. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Something that makes me feel proud about being a part of the LGBTQIA community is people like Sophie, who is an artist and musician who passed away earlier this year. Sophie once said in an interview that pop music is about being the loudest and the brightest and that's how she made me feel and for me that's freedom. And I know that a lot of other people feel this way, so I just think that for someone to create music that makes people feel love and feel free to express themselves is irreplaceable and incredibly gratifying and it just makes me feel grateful. Hi, my name is Christy Gutierrez, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm proud to be part of the LGBTQIA community because being part of the community has allowed me to find ways to love and accept myself that I hadn't been able to prior. Hi everybody, happy Pride Month. Um, the reason why I'd say that I am really proud to be a part of the LGBTQIA plus community is because it gives me a place of belonging. Like I am a part of a community knowing there's other people out there who share similar experiences as me who understand the things that I have been through, the things that I'm going through, the things that I will possibly go through, can help me and lift me up and support me. And it's nice to know that I have a community for that. Hello, I am proud to be part of the LGBT community because I have no idea how else to be and exist in the world. And I believe in visibility and that's why I am doing this. So yeah. Hi, I'm Patrick and I'm queer and I'm so proud to be part of the LGBTQIA plus community not because it has not only taught me what it means to be myself but what it means to be part of a community and that all the light you put out into the world will eventually come back to you and I'd also like to say none of us will know liberation until all of us have liberation. Thank you. Hey, my name is Franco Bianchi and I'm proud of being part of the LGBTQIA community because our community is full of love, acceptance, dreams, positivity. Everyone's welcome to be who they are. And not to even mention, we're very creative, strong, and full of talented people. One reason that I am super proud to be a member of the LGBTQIA plus community is that we are literally everywhere. Um, I can't think of many other communities that are founded at their best on inclusivity. We span gender, sex, sexual orientation, gender expression, age, ability, race, color, national origin, creed, immigration. You know, it's like we are everywhere. And that gives us an amazing opportunity to look around the spaces we're in and say, what can we as a community change here? Um, and if you're thinking, Michael, no one in any of the areas I'm in or communities I'm in are part of the Alphabet Mafia, it might be you. So welcome. Hi, my name is Haley Sinetra. And what I'm most proud of being a part of this community is not only finding a place for myself, but also seeing other people find a home and a community that they can be a part of. Um, I know that it's a little difficult for us to do that sometimes, so having open arms to anyone who they may be is just the most beautiful thing. I fight monsters underneath my bed waking up to both my hands in red they 
say sinners often go to hell So wicked witch, cast your spell They say there's a curse on me Nothing matters when you're alone in your sleep Forget these wandering eyes I'm alone, alone and free They say there's a curse on me Nothing matters when you're alone in your dreams Forget these wandering eyes I'm alone, alone and free Know that I loved you so bad I let you treat me like that I was your willing accomplice, honey And I watch as you fled the scene Don't whine as you buried me One heart broke, four hands bloody The things I did Just so I could call you my The things you did Well I hope I was your favorite cry You used me as an alibi I crossed my heart as you crossed the line And I defended you to all my friends Now every time a siren sounds I wonder if you're around Cause you know that I do it all again The things I did Just so I could call you mine The things you did Well I hope I was your favorite cry It's bittersweet to think about the damage that we do Cause I was going down but I was doing it with you Yeah, everything we broke and all the trouble that we made But I say that I hate you with a smile on my face Oh, look what we became Oh, the things I did Just so I could call you I hope I was your favorite crime Your favorite crime Your favorite crime Cause baby, you were mine How do you know that something is missing if you've never seen it before? And everyone's got one, but you're simply lacking, and you don't understand what it's for. They tell me to wait, they tell me to search, but how do I know where to look? It's not on my dresser, or under my bed, or sandwiched inside of a book. I ask what it looks like, they tell me I'll know, it's only a matter of time, but the hours keep passing and everyone's got one, but somehow I don't have mine. And when I think that I found it, they tell me I'm wrong. Because what I found doesn't look like it should. The colors are different, the shape is all off, and I just wish I understood. They gave me a map and said, follow it there. But it takes me through perilous land, where limbs reach for my legs and brush past my chest and something slithers onto my hand and my stomach is churning just thinking about it and I'm trapped 
within my own skin. I don't want to go there. I don't want what's missing. So maybe instead of following maps, I'll follow my heartbeat within. And then I meet someone who understands. We are of the same kind. If we never had it, then nothing is missing. There isn't something to find. It's not under my bed or hung by the door because frankly, it doesn't exist. I'm not broken or empty or lacking or faulty. My searching is over and done. They might not get it, but I understand now. There's no missing piece and I'm happy with me. And I'm not alone. No, I'm not the only one. kiss me and did I kiss him back was it wrong am I mad is that all does he miss me was he suddenly getting bored with me wake up stop dreaming stop prancing about the woods it's not beseeming what is it about the woods back to life back to sense back to child back to husband you can't live in the woods there are vows, there are ties, there are needs, there are standards, there are shouldn'ts and shoulds. Why not both instead? There's the answer if you're clever. Have a child for warmth and a baker for bread and a prince for whatever. Never, it's these woods. Face the facts, join the group, find the boy, stop the giant, just get out of these woods. Was that him? Yes, it was. Was that me? No, it wasn't. Just a trick of the woods. For a moment, one peculiar passing moment. Must it all be either less or more, either plain or grand? Is it always or is it never and? That's what woods are for, for these moments in the woods. Oh, if life were only moments, even now and then a bad one. But if life were only moments, then you'd never know you had one. First a witch, then a child, then a prince, then a moment who can live in the woods. And to get what you wish even just for a moment, these are dangerous woods. Let the moment go. Don't forget it for a moment though. Just remember when you've had an and and you're back to or makes the or mean more than it did before. Now I understand, and it's time to leave the woods.
We keep behind closed doors Every time I see you I die a little more Stolen moments that we steal As the curtain falls It'll never be enough But I know this We got a love that is whole I'm not defensive, I'm simply being cautious. One can't risk reckless dating due to my miscalculating why. A certain suitor stands in line, I've seen in movies, most made for television. You cannot be too careful when it comes to sharing your life. I could end up a miserable husband. I mean, he could be criminal. Some sort of psychopath who escaped from an institution somewhere where they don't have girls. He could have masterminded some way to find me. He could be colorblind. How untrustworthy is that? He could be less than kind. Or even worse, he could be very nice, have lovely eyes, and make me laugh. I'm out of hiding. What do I do with that? God, what if when he sees me, I like him and he knows it? What if he opens up a door and I can't close it? What happens then if when he holds me, my heart is set in motion? I'm not prepared for that. I'm scared of breaking open. Still, I'm who when he sees me wants to again who am I you have no idea of the hell I am? That's the question in everyone's mind, isn't it? What do you want to be when you grow up? Who do you like? Why are we so involved in everyone else's life? Now that's the real question. I'm so sick and tired of pleasing everyone, of what I should and shouldn't be, of who I should love. Life is too short to try to please everyone, because at the end of the day, there will always be someone who thinks you are not enough. No matter how pretty you are, how kind, how nice, I'll never be enough, right? That's 
what you keep telling me. But as long as I am enough for myself, that's what matters. Many will miss who I was because I'm not that stupid little kid anymore who you can manipulate and belittle and burn into ashes. I will love whoever the hell I want to love. I will fuck whoever I please. There is no way back for me because this is who I choose to be. I hope there's a way back for you because this is who I want to be. Someone who is enough. Have I killed my thoughts right before their prime? Have I been my tongue one too many times? Have I said it all the way I really meant to? If I wait till my tomorrow comes, is the waiting all I've ever done? And will I get to? Get to know myself in the place I am Get to fall in love with another man And understand When you are younger You wish you are older And when you're older You wish for time to turn around Don't let you wander to closure when you get older when you get Patrick Pulpit. Ladies, aren't men the worst? <laughs> when I say men, you say yuck. Men, yuck! Ugh. You know what men want? Men want to get in you and throw you to the side salty. And the only thing I get in and throw to the side salty is my wetsuit when I'm done shredding barrels at the point. Am I right? Oh my god. I am so excited for things to start opening back up again. It is truly one of my life's pleasures to go out and get messy <laughs> under my special skills on my resume if you know me it says shaking that ass <laughs> and so naturally one of the first times i moved to la going out to a gay club was like going to mecca it was exhilarating because i love to dance i'm not there for the people i'm not there for the men because they were average i'm there to dance and so as i'm dancing some guy comes up and starts dancing with me he turns to me and goes Hey, you want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> and I'm like, no thanks, I came before I got here. <laughs> and he's like, no, do you want to go to the bathroom? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you mean like that? <laughs> and so we go to the bathroom. We get in there and he pulls out the biggest, longest, rosary i have ever seen in my life i get on my knees so fast and start saying my hail marys it was amazing but as we're in there you can hear this gay guy lost as ever going from bathroom stall christian are you in there christian are you in there christian and the guy pulls away from me and goes are you christian and i look at him confused and ever and go no, I'm Catholic. <laughs>
The sun's been kind while I wrote this song. It's for people like you that keep it turned on. So excuse me for getting, cause these things I do. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Anyway, the thing is, what I really mean, yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. How can you miss someone you've never met? Guess I need you now, but I don't know you yet But can you find me soon because I'm in my head? Yeah, I need you now, but I don't know you yet Guess lately it's been hard Selling me for parts And I don't wanna be modern art But I only got half a heart To give to you How can you miss someone you've never seen? Oh tell me, are your eyes brown, blue, or green? And do you like it with sugar and cream? Or do you like it straight? Oh, just like me Cause lately it's been hard They're selling me for parts and I don't wanna be modern art But I only got half a heart to give to you And I hope it's enough oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. How can you miss someone you never met? Cause I need you now, but I don't know you yet Hey, 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 hey,
who went to boarding school with me will know me as This Pride, I decided to take the opportunity and talk to a pioneer of the queer community. Myself. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Are we rolling? Welcome, Daniel. Uh, can I call you Daniel or should I just call you back? You can call me Daniel. Um, okay. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? You know, where are you from? Well, um, I'm an Italian girl from New York. It's just an Italian girl from New York. Right, you know, when was the first time you realized that you were uh, gay? I think it was the Super Bowl in 2003 when, when Shania Twain said, Man, I feel like a woman. Uh, I, I, I'm curious to know what your position is on uh, queer bathing, knowing that it's pretty uh, divisive in the community right now. I think for me, queerness is a freedom of expression, freedom from the, you know, gender binaries that we are socialized in. So if like cis heterosexual people want to explore what that means to them, go for it. But you have to respect the history and the people who fought for that history. That being said though, you know, they are revered for being, you know, brave for exploring that. But meanwhile, queer and trans people are killed and demonized for that. Cool. Thank you for joining me today, Daniel, in this honest conversation. Bring out the dancing bisexuals. For me, being a part of the LGBTQIA plus community means being loving and accepting of those around me and continuing to challenge the idea of normality. I can surround myself with people who get me and that family doesn't always have to be by blood. I can build my own queer family and be who I am. There are people who will stand up for me when I feel as though I have lost my strength. For me, being part of the LGBTQIA plus community means having a home away from home. For me, being queer means the opportunity to love and to be loved fully, truly, and without limitations. Being queer means welcoming love in its infinite capacities. For me, being queer means open and acceptability. It means being progressive, and it means being receptive to everything that is around us and everything that is within us. For me, being queer means freedom. For me, being queer means self-expression and not sticking to one way of living. Being queer is the most freeing feeling. For me, being queer means I can be whatever I want. I can love whoever I want. I can live my life however I want. For me, 
Being non-binary means having to advocate for myself, knowing people will not believe me. For me, being trans means I will always know myself best. It means being accepted for who I am and being unapologetically proud of it. For me, being gay means being proud. It means hope, love, and beauty. For me, being gay means choosing your own family, and I'm so happy with my choices. For me, being gay means I can love whoever I want. For me, being queer means I just get to be me. Just Haley. Thank you.